Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. I'm a mom who loves to play board games. So I really enjoy solitaire games that are very compact and very fast. So I can play them while I'm waiting around for my kids. Because of this, I'm delighted to review Grove. Grove is a solitaire card placement game that uses dice to track your progress through the puzzle. It's a sequel to Orchard, which is another solitaire game. Both of them were designed and illustrated by Mark Tuck. Grove is published by Sideroom Games. Inside the box, you'll find 18 cards, 15 custom dice, and two tokens, a squirrel and a wheelbarrow. So let's talk about the art. The art in Grove plays really well into the compactness of the game. You have these little bushes. Every bush has one or two little citrusy fruit. And every card has an open grove. The illustrations on the back of each card have more information and more things you can do, but they could have been a little bit more richly illustrated. They don't seem to quite fit with the look that's on the front of the cards. There are 18 cards here, but you only use half the deck for any given game. Start by laying down a card at random to be your starting card, and then draw a hand of two cards from the eight that you have left. Play one card from your hand onto the table. You need to overlap matching types of trees to either place or upgrade a die based on the total number of fruit that are now held on that tree. Then you draw a new card and do it again. The dice values climb from two all the way up to six, and then they upgrade to a bushel of 10 fruit. If you actually manage to upgrade a die that already shows a bushel, you can use the wheelbarrow token to show you got a wheelie good haul. You're always allowed to overlap the empty grove spaces with trees of any kind. You can also overlap non-matching trees once in the game by using the squirrel token, but that'll subtract points from your end score, so use it wisely. But wait, that's not all. As I mentioned, on the back of every card is a recipe challenge. Pick two of those from the unused nine cards when separating out the deck to play. If you fulfill the condition on each card, you'll get bonus points, but the two cards combined will also give you the score you need to beat to win the game. So what did I expect from Grove? I knew it was a sequel to Orchard, which I've seen around, but I never got a chance to play. I'd seen lots of pictures of it, and that idea of the card placement with dice as counters was really cool. But I had no idea what to expect other than you lay cards and there's dice that get placed on top. I was a little surprised that you never actually roll the dice. You only use them as upgrade counters. You count how many fruit you have on a specific tree space. But they work really well for that purpose. I was also surprised by the recipe challenges and the variable goals. I love this mechanic. It's great in Sprawlopolis, one of my other favorite solo games. Uh, it exists in a few other games as well. It's a really great way to use all of the card space in a really small game like this that has 18 cards or fewer. The way that you set up this game, where you immediately set aside half the deck, almost guarantees that you'll want to play twice in a row. This really is just designed to be a solo game, and there is a way to play it with other people if they haven't enjoyed the solo game as well. I highly recommend Grove. It plays in 10 minutes or less, it's small enough to fit in a purse if you're a mom like me, or a big pocket like cargo shorts or in a coat or something. My only disappointments with it at all are that the art could be just a little bit more detailed, and I really wish there was a way to play with two players right out of the box. Other than that, Grove is a great game, and I'm going to give it four and a half fruit out of five. And that's Grove in a snap.